it is your local Lazy Goth Dynamic Red. I am actually going to be showing you guys how to build this. I had ordered this off of Amazon. It was uh, $26.99. Uh, my shipping was free because I have Amazon Prime. Uh, and the reason why I'm going to show you guys how to build this is because there were no instructions. And I see a lot of people had complained about no instructions, but gave it a four star review due to how easy you could actually put it together, how simple it is, and how it is really perfect for tarantulas. And some people even use these to transport some animals. So I'm going to show you guys how to put this together. So what is it you ask? Oh my God. Hi, son. So what is it? It's called... Bear with me. It is called Pet For You, one word, Aquarium Breeding Tank Acrylic Reptile Feeding Box with Temperature Hydrometer Small. And like I said, it has four star review on Amazon and there's over a hundred reviews on it. And the measurements of it is that it is 11 11.4 <laughs> inches by 7.7 .7 inches by 5.9 so it is going to be quite interesting um the fact that it has such a large name and it just sounds like it was throwing all these words together for you to click it because you're going to type in a reptile tank aquarium enclosure habitat um even the feeding like if it doesn't matter how you type it in it actually had constantly popped up in my uh, search on amazon every time i type in some sort of words similar to it so i am actually <laughs> i decided i was going to give it a try because my one tarantula gem have molted again and they are getting a little too big for their enclosure and I would like to give them at least this if Jim gets uh, bigger to where they're more than half of one length I will have to look into another enclosure but this will be perfect for Jim as they continue to grow. I actually got everything out of the box and ready to go. Um, this is basically what it came in inside a bigger box that made no sense why it was in there and then it had the bag of the small stuff that you're going to need plus the hydrometer which is inside this box which was a tape on top of this and i actually got excited when i saw it was in foreign language which told me it was the real deal the ones i've been seeing uh so it's quite interesting so these pieces, acrylic pieces, were covered in this uh, sticky protective layer from it getting scratched and also protect it from when it's getting shipped. Every single little piece, including these little hinges, which you see, that there's two of those. They were covered on both sides as well, and they're tiny. So it comes with seven large pieces that you actually put together and then like I said it comes with all these rubber bands and pieces this goes in this circle that's on top of your lid part I'm actually going to end up gluing that on here because I don't want Trencha to be able to pop it off and get out uh, it's not that hard to pop it off so I'd rather do that and if what I find interesting with the hydrometer is it's already on and ready to go as soon as I open it and it does definitely to keep track of the humidity but it also keeps track of the temperature in Celsius so if you're not used to Celsius terms like me um, it's gonna take a lot to get used to and this actually locks into the place in the front piece which is this this is your front piece and it actually locks in place right there. So I am going to actually show you guys how to put this together 
Like I said, it did not come with the instructions at all. I even didn't get my uh, order form paper that was in the other box. It just came into the box with a bunch of the packing brown paper. And this was on the very bottom. And there was absolutely no instructions whatsoever. But I am one of those people that I love putting things together without instructions. When it doesn't have instructions. Because I can figure that out. It's a fun puzzle for me. You're hearing parakeets. I'm sorry they're in the exotic room due to the fact that the house does get cold. And this is the only room that stays warm. Which is also if you hear like a fan or wind noises. It's because there's a fan in here. So I can sit here comfortably and not sweat like a pig. While I'm showing you guys how to put this together. So let's get this down and we'll get it all together. Okay, I'm going to try shooting it like this. I never had a camera, like, right in my face. My arms are short, so it's kind of hard to reach. But we are going to put this together. I'm going to put this to the side because I will need this later along with the hydrometer. That stays to the side because I will need it later. So this is going to be your front, like I said. Here's your lid. Here's one of your sides. Here's your other tarp, top part for the lid. The back side. The other side. And then the bottom. So, how I figured this out, I actually did a couple times because I couldn't fit the pieces together. Is that it's basically try and error. I did get the one side in and then I went for the back. Or no, the front. Eh, we'll start with the back. So I, the front is towards us. And it's really just a nice simple... Oh my goodness. It's got hard to know if there's a camera in my face. <laughs> oh, you guys are going to enjoy watching me struggle. Because... I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Let's see if I can move this just ever so slightly. Okay, maybe that will work better. You can see a little more. Awesome. All right. And like I said, this is pretty simple how you can put it together. Now, the thing is with the sides, you want to make sure this is on the same side for your door which I already put this on backwards again and I want it that way because the door is going to swing open. I'm trying this for the third time because I actually when I did put it together the first time I actually had it against my chest <laughs> so there's that and then here is the oh, pardon me again I'll cry but I'll do it again because it's pain it's already doing it it is already doing it. And you know, I got the front side attached to one side, and then everything else is detached. <laughs> hey, let's try this again. Put the camera on my face. I'm this. So, has it fell apart on you miserably yet? Yeah, and you're doing it by yourself, and it's not staying put, it's not locking in place. A lot of people thought it just holds itself together, but that's not the case. It needs additional help. If you notice, on this side, I have a little extra something on this middle thing. What is it, you ask? Well, if you remember this small bag of goodies I was telling you about? It has a couple of small acrylic pieces, this top thing, all those rubber bands, and there's even a acrylic screw and nails in here. I'm trying to find it through the camera. There it is. There's one there. There's a screw, and then the uh, nut is on there as well. So, this is how you're going to do it when you're doing this by yourself. And there's no way it's going to sit still for you. So, eh. Fun, right? It is actually quite fun to do when you're trying to do this by yourself because then you're going to find out how angry you get. <laughs> But, don't give up. So, like I said, with the rubber bands, you want to lock it on place. So that way you have 
enough leeway to be able to put the sides like right here on and then also for down below just put the back on. If I can grab it. There we go. And sorry if it seems a little weird because I'm not used to trying to do things with a camera in front of my face. This is the first time I'm tipping that. Okay. Now I need to get you on there. Come on. Sorry, I'm going to already move the camera because it's just in my way. Yep, I'm going to move the camera. Now, I'm not going to lock the sides in because I still have to put the front side and I need to be able to put the top on here as well. With the front side, the hole for the hybrid meter does not matter if it's on this side or this side. This is just your preference. I will put it on this side. I just feel like that's where it needs to be. So that's where I'm going to put it. And I gotta lift it. And yes, I know you're hearing the scraping, but it's okay. It's only going to be a cute little house for a, a Green Bottle Blue Tarantula named Jim. Jim, I do not know sex of. It's still a bit small but it is growing this is also another reason why it kind of sucks when you have her bands on because there it goes Duh! so here's your your crazy long weird piece and I also like how it has oops it has that on there. I do not know what it says, but I do like that. That is actually engraved into it. It's kind of like uh, Drinko Plastics, which, by the way, I actually do love Drinko Plastics. Um, that's what my tarantula named Burnt Toast is in. Burnt Toast is a rural tarantula that common name is Pink Toe Tarantula. As you see. Now with the Dream Co though, they actually build the enclosures and they shipped it to you with it already together. This one you build it yourself, which I actually kind of like a lot. Now it's the same with this hole. It doesn't matter what side you have it on, as long as it's there. You guys are being rude. And those little nook holes I was telling you about, it just goes straight in those. As Fox Fort fell. Our birds, I am a mess! Alright, so now what's left is really putting our vans on. Which is gonna be fun. Right? If I can get them out. Goodness. Time to come out. Okay, now I got a few. Now you're probably wanting, but there's an opening here, but there's nothing there. So, why is that there? Is that a mishap? Nope, that is not a mishap. That is there for a reason. I'm going to go ahead and lock everything in place. These programs, as you see, it's really simple, and it really does actually lock it in place. I actually really like it. That is very simple. So the fact that it only cost me $27 too, I enjoy. Let's see, there's stuff over there. Hey look, there's birds of closure. Oh no, I just did that. I'm sorry. Hey, me too. Okay, back at it. So, yeah. And if you guys actually follow me on Instagram, you guys find out that I had an early holiday gift. And... I was actually <laughs> was gonna wait for it. I'll talk about it in a different video. But I just wanted to be like, yeah, I totally got something cool. 
it's just really, really, really simple to put together. Just simple setup, simple. Can be a little complex when you're trying to do it. And you have no idea how you're going to build it because there's absolutely no instructions that came with it at all. And that can be nerve wracking to see because you're just like, well, I'm going to do this. Oh, I guess it's time to, I don't know, try doing another all and watch a ball part playing. And it doesn't work. In reality, all you got to do is build it. Yay. I don't know. But I guess I actually enjoyed the same. And you go over there and there. Just right on that bolt. It's not like so good. I did it like this. I have no idea what that one But this did come back to your pants, so that was nice. That's why I try to keep my finger there. Oh, wait, there's already one there. God. Just pretty well, I thought I'd be lost. You guys really watch me fail? You guys like it? I hope so. Hope it pings you guys game. Now, here's a very important information um, about any new enclosures you get, even if you just bought it right out of the box, or you, you know you just build it, you know you watch it before you put it together, before you put any animal into these enclosures at all. Doesn't matter, like I said, if you just buy it. It needs to be washed before you even attempt to put an animal in there for many reasons. If you don't want your animal to get sick when you rehome it or put a little thing in there, I am doing over, make sure you have everything everywhere. Like I said, I have a camera on my face. I am not used to that. I'm pretty sure I have so many people so upset that all year is the grinding of the setting around the desk. And I actually might have Jim staying on my desk. So, now, you're wondering, what's this? What's it for? Believe it or not, this is actually your latching locking mechanism. That hole, right there. That hole actually lines up with this when you have it in the little nook that I was telling you guys about it lines up perfectly now you're wondering how does the same place oh goodness I'm so sorry you guys are wondering how it stays in place well this is how the acrylic screw and that. And we'll pick it up. So. This is very simple. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to use screws. But if you guys don't know. I will show you. You want to have this open. When you do so. So. If you don't know how to do the screws. You want to make sure that it's going to be like this. On here. Because you want it to latch. And then you're going to put your acrylic screw in the holes. And then you grab your acrylic nut and you screw it on there. Now, I did notice on them, they kind of favor one side over to the other. So, if you have to flip it for it to screw on, that's quite okay. Oh, I'm going to lose the camera. Got it. My arm said no. I'm not allowed filming today. Which it could suck it. Now you can you don't want to screw too loose because then, then there's gonna be issues. Now you don't want to screw it too tight or you won't be able to like move it. Like as you see, it barely moves now. Now it does. And you want to do that for both sides. Do you guys need another demonstration how to do it? I will do it for ya. I'm just going to unscrew this nut off of here. Like I said, I'm doing this through the camera. So it's kind of hard to see when the camera is literally at your head level. Um... I don't have anything else to how I can film other than have the camera like right in my face. Like I said, if you have to flip it over because the screw is not working, that's a okay. It's like I said, it seems to favor one side. Okay. There was being a dork about it. Didn't hold the screw down. Now it's not too loose or too tight. And as you see, it locks in place. Which is nice. And like I said, though, with this piece here, though, I'm going to have to probably, like, glue that on there because it doesn't take a lot for it to come off and I will recommend that too if you're going to think about getting this for your tarantula I will definitely 100% actually do that now this like I said the hydrometer which also shows temperature um, in celsius 
goes into this little spot. And honestly, this locks in place. So I find that pretty cool. How you say? This. It's on both sides. I tried... <laughs> I tried locking it into place earlier and I kind of messed up because I almost couldn't get it out. But there it is. Like I said, I'm going to glue that there. So actually, I got glue for that right now. So you guys have it for a pet for you aquarium breeding tank, acrylic reptile feeding box with temperature hydrometer small. This is how you guys put it together and I hope you guys enjoyed how you see me put together. My next video uh, for this is going to be when I set up the um, enclosure for Jim and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me fail a couple times and also wondering why I even attempt on certain things. But hey, it's here. It's done. It's together. As you see, it's pretty solid as is. And what I mean by that, it locks pretty good too when you push these, uh, push these in. There's no... So... It's quite nice. Like I said, it is kind of like a weak acrylic. It kind of bows a little bit when you mess with it. But it's not like, oh no, you can't use this or anything. I honestly enjoy it. I like it. And I hope Jim likes it because, like I said, I originally got it for him. So I can try it out. And I'd be wanting to try it. But I was too scared to. And I finally said, screw it. We're doing it. So... There you guys have it. I'll see you guys later. And I hope you guys really did enjoy it. I really do. I keep saying it. I'm sorry. But I really do hope you guys did enjoy this. And that I hope I see you guys next time. And yeah. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.